And um, but yeah, that's a fight that I love to have. But that, that's a fight that I that I want, and um, we'll make it happen. You would do it next. You when, whenever, whatever, whoever. So that's where I'm at. After a hell of a dog fight with David Benavidez, Caleb Plant, he ain't ready to lay down yet. He wants Jamal Charlo by the end of the year. We gonna talk about it in this video, but before we do that, make sure that you hit my like button and sub to the channel if you're not already a subscriber to the channel. What's happening with it, y'all? Now, we had a hell of a fight this weekend between Kayla Plant and David Benavidez. We also seen Jamal Charlo make his first appearance. We ain't seen Jamal Charlo in probably a year or more. We seen Jamal Charlo. He did a lot of interviews. And in those interviews, Jamal Charlo, he said, you know, he want everybody. He moving up to 168. He actually said in one of the interviews, he said, look, I'm about to make a big announcement in a couple hours on my social media. That never happened, but Jamal Charlo, he be a little bit under the influence. You know what I'm saying? Some people might tell you he be a lot of bit under the influence. So Jamal Charlo, you know, he said a lot of things this weekend. Um, and I'm not going to say he was running off at the mouth, but he was pretty much like, hey, I'm moving up to 168. It's happening for show, sure, for show. Sure. And I want all the smoke with everybody. Caleb Plant, David Benavidez, you know what I'm saying? He said he even would take the loser of the Caleb Plant and David Benavidez fight. So now we know that Caleb Plant lost the fight. You know what I'm saying? He put up a hell of an effort, but he came out on the loser side. Now, the thing is, is David Benavidez is now the mandatory to Canelo Alvarez's belt. Canelo Alvarez, he's also came out and he pretty much said he ain't fighting David Benavidez, but we're going to talk about that in a whole different video in the interview that Canelo Alvarez did. So make sure that y'all, um, you know, be on the lookout later on today and I'm going to drop that. And to keep it real, everybody pretty much know we probably not going to see that fight with David Benavidez and Canelo Alvarez. Now, a fight that we can see is Jamal Charlo and David Benavidez. But we've seen in the past, Jamal Charlo, he kind of act like he don't want to fight David Benavidez. Now he's saying he want to fight him. You know what I'm saying? He just want to fight him to fight him. But before, when they could have fought, it was like he was ducking the smoke. But let's see if Jamal Charlo is talking about fighting David Benavidez. But if not, another fight. That's real, real big that we can get at the end of the year. Caleb Plant has been on record on several different occasions saying that he wants to fight Jamal Charlo, right? We were supposed to get that fight by the end of last year. Jamal Charlo was inactive. He was dealing with some personal issues and things like that. So we never got to see Caleb Plant and Jamal Charlo. That's a fight that we still want to see. Caleb Plant, he just came out on his social media account and he said he won't anybody. He said he willing and ready to rumble with anybody next. He'll be back soon. So that anybody should be Jamal Charlo because, like I said, him and Jamal Charlo, they've called each other out in the past. Jamal Charlo even did an interview saying that he'll knock Caleb Plant out in three or four rounds. Caleb Plant, he did an interview saying that Jamal Charlo is easy work. That's a fight that he loved. I played the audio for you in the beginning of the video, and you heard Caleb Plant say, hey, I love that fight. We need to make that fight happen by the end of the year. So, by the end of 2023, let Caleb Plant get his rest. Let Jamal Charlo, you know what I'm saying, get his tune-up fight. And that's a big mega pay-per-view fight. Caleb Plant is a big name in boxing now because he did a pay-per-view with Canelo Alvarez. That did real big numbers. He came back. He fought on the undercard of the Deontay Wilder pay-per-view. And he presented to the audience in the world a spectacular knockout of Anthony Durrell. And now he just came out in a hell of a fight with David Benavidez on pay-per-view again. And so Caleb Plant is a big name in the sport of boxing. Jamal Charlo, you know, he was a big name in the sport of boxing. Like I said, he been inactive, but hey, he still carry a lot of weight in the sport of boxing. That is a big fight, a huge pay-per-view. And we know once these fighters start fighting on pay-per-view, 
You don't see him on regular TV no more. So it is safe to say that Caleb Plant is a pay-per-view fighter. You know what I'm talking about? Um, David Benavidez is definitely a pay-per-view fighter. So all these fighters are pay-per-view fighters. Jamal Charlo, you know, he had one pay-per-view, but then he went back to, you know, fighting on regular Showtime. But Jamal Charlo, he looking for a big payday. He looking for a big pay-per-view. And Caleb Plant is it. You know what I'm saying? He him. I don't see him getting in the ring with David Benavidez. Like I said, I like the Caleb Plant fight for both of them. Caleb Plant, you know, um, it ain't no shame in losing to Canelo Alvarez and David Benavidez. Me personally, I think that David Benavidez will whoop Canelo Alvarez. So to me, fighting Canelo and then fighting David Benavidez, uh, Caleb Plant, he really took a step up in competition. You know what I'm talking about? Some people may disagree, but I think David Benavidez, he's younger, he's faster, he's stronger, and he's more hungry than Canelo Alvarez. You dig what I'm saying? So that was a tougher fight, and we seen in the fight that Caleb Plant, you know, he took a much worse beating in that David Benavidez fight than he did with Canelo Alvarez. Yeah, Canelo Alvarez, he landed in that 11th round. He landed some big shots and was able to hurt Caleb Plant. But as far as like overall punishment, he wasn't taking punishment in that Canelo Alvarez fight like he was in that David Benavidez fight. So, you know, let Caleb Plant heal heal up and everything and he need to come back before the year is over and he needs to come back in the big fight we don't need him stepping back down in competition fighting the figging butts and the mike lees and you know just these washed up tune-up fights hey once you get to that top of the ladder you gotta stay there you gotta continue to fight high level competition and jamal charlo he been inactive you know what i'm saying perfect opponent for caleb plant it don't get no better than that. That is the perfect opponent for Caleb Plant. Who else he gonna fight that got a big name? You know what I'm talking about? Who else is Caleb Plant gonna fight that, that has a big name at 168 pounds? And I think that Jamal Charlo is a winnable fight for Caleb Plant. I see things that Caleb Plant need to continue to work on. He definitely needs to work on his inside game. You know what I'm saying? Stand his ground a lot more. I think if he was able to stand his ground with David Benavidez and was able to, you know, take the fight inside and then out and switch up the way he was fighting, like, you got to be able to show that you have an inside game and an outside game instead of just trying to move and move and move and fight on the outside not just one dimensional and if he was able to do all those things i think he might have been able to pull out the win versus david benavidez but he couldn't do that so he definitely got some things that he got to work on he needs to work on standing his ground and being able to bang it out when he got to we saw that he did good banging it out with david benavidez in that last round the last two rounds i believe but other than that you know he wasn't willing to do it and i've seen him do it with lesser competition in the past but he got to be willing to do that with the top level competition you dig what i'm saying so yeah man jamal charlo caleb plant let's make it happen by the end of the year 2023 is is bringing us big great fights and it need to continue to bring us big great fights you know what i'm talking about let uh canelo alvarez continue to duck these fighters and do what he gonna do but these fighters like david benavidez caleb plant jamal charlo they need to move along and continue to fight each other and make big fights and we gonna put david morrell in there too but jamal charlo he said that he'll never fight david morrell because that's his stable mate but he know David Morrell is like that. He even said David Morrell is like that. He said, man, dude is great. He said, I spar with him all the time. He teaches me a lot of things. So David Morrell like that. So we can't sleep on David Morrell. David Morrell and David Benavidez, they can get it popping. You know what I'm talking about? If that, That's a great fight. 168 is heating up. That's all I got to say, you know, about that. 168 is heating up so hopefully we get to see jamal charlo and caleb plant um at the by the end of the year they've been calling each other out for a long time now make it happen y'all let me know what y'all think about that fight who y'all got winning that fight if they do fight let me know if y'all want to see that fight by the end of the year drop a comment in the comment section and y'all already know how i do but before that make sure that y'all hit my like button it'll be highly appreciated Diego talking that boxing again and I'm gone.